Dr. Nadir Ali, lipotoxicity due to fat cells unable to store more fat can be overcome. As soon as you eat food, even before the glucose gets into the circulation, the gut is already sending hormones to the pancreas, the GIP that makes the pancreas know how much food is coming in so that it can prepare the amount of insulin it's going to release. It knows how much protein is coming in because the gut is signaling to the pancreas, hey, I'm going to dump so much protein into the circulation. It's also signaling how much fat you're going to uh, send into this uh, circulation. When we eat in a lot of fat, Fat is pretty toxic if it is left in the circulation. In other words, if you were to give me a marker of health and say, take somebody with high LDL, I'd say, yeah, this guy is going to live long. But if you give me somebody with high triglycerides, which is high amount of fat and blood, I would say, something is seriously wrong with this person's metabolic health and that they can get into trouble. What one may ask is lipotoxicity and lipotoxicity is that in reality, whether you are a low carb individual or whether you are a pure vegan or whether you are eating a standard American diet, you're by design going to eat fat. And that fat is absorbed by the body in fat globules and it needs to be packed into the fat cells. And if your fat cells are full, if they are inflamed, if they are insulin resistant, what insulin resistance simply means is that the insulin receptor at the level of the fat cells is not working because it's down-regulated, because you've had too much insulin in your circulation for too long. And so the fat cell cannot take in the fat that you have eaten and it remains in the circulation. Uh, by the way, there can be several, several obese people who are insulin sensitive, whose fat cells are healthy, and then when they take in the fat, they pack it in quickly. So you can have a metabolically healthy, obese person also. But if somebody is insulin resistant and obese, I would perhaps not advise them to eat a large amount of fat. These people may first need to improve their health through a regimen of fasting, through a regimen of protein sparing modified fast through a regimen of exercise. Protein sparing modified fast. This is for severely obese patients under a doctor's care. Phase one, four to six months of extreme low carb and low calorie with medical supervision. Phase two, six to eight weeks, gradual calorie increase to normal. The goal is to lose excess fat while maintaining muscle mass. You don't get lipotoxicity necessarily by eating too much fat. You can get lipotoxicity by not being able to burn the fat. If a person comes in who is heavy and obese, who's gone on a low carb diet, who is not eating any carbs, yet you are not seeing a weight loss, yet you are not seeing an improvement in their cholesterol quality, which is low triglycerides, high HDL. In this individual, you may say, hey, listen, we are not going to be like every traditional mainstream healthcare provider. We are not going to tell you that it is your fault. That's not true. Most Americans try to follow and advice given by a professional. And so we need to take a step back and say, hey, maybe our advice is wrong in this individual. 
Maybe there is such a thing as eating too much fat that, not, that might not be good for you. So what does happen in these people is that when they have eaten the fat, just like you mentioned, you're not able to pack it, it remains in circulation. Now this fat that remains in circulation is going to try to find a place for it to go. So it's going to end up as visceral fat. It's going to end up in your pancreas. When your pancreas gets fatty, it becomes insulin resistant. It can get into the liver and it can cause non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Summary. As soon as you start eating, the gut is sending hormones to the pancreas to know how much food is coming so it can prepare the amount of insulin that is needed. Fat is pretty toxic if left in the circulation. Dr. Ali says that if someone has high LDL, he would say, this guy will likely live long. However, if he is high in triglycerides, fat in the blood, Dr. Ali would think, he is in poor metabolic health. Lipotoxicity, whether you are low carb, vegan, or on the standard American diet, the fat you eat needs to be packed into fat cells. If your fat cells are full or inflamed or insulin resistant, meaning too much insulin over too long of a period, then they cannot take in the fat and that is bad. You can be insulin sensitive with healthy fat cells. So when eating fat, the fat cells pack it in with no problem. If someone, however, is both obese and insulin resistant, Dr. Ali would advise them not to eat a lot of fat. First, get metabolically healthy through fasting, protein sparing, modified fasting, exercise. You don't necessarily get lipotoxicity from eating fat, but from not being able to burn fat. If someone who is obese and is eating a low-carb diet and is not losing weight and does not have good health, good health being low triglycerides and high HDL, Dr. Ali would say, it's not your fault. Maybe our advice is wrong, meaning the mainstream medical community advice. If someone is like this, not able to pack in fat that is eaten, it remains in circulation and will become visceral fat, could end up in the pancreas or in the liver and lead to non-alcoholic fatty liver disease.